Once the enemy is vulnerable, your next line of attack should be the gravity nuke. The gravity nuke is the pioneer's secondary weapon, which will explode on impact, causing anything within the area of effect to not only take damage, but also to be pushed back by the force of the explosion. Yeah, yeah, I like using that. The gravity that. nuke has a range of up to 24,000 meters, but it is difficult to land a shot from this distance. Instead, try to wait until the enemy is firmly in the pioneer's sights to land the maximum damage. To round out the ship's arsenal, it comes fitted with a supply of Pioneer missiles. These are slow moving, though pack a serious punch if they penetrate an opponent's defenses. Due to their low speed, these are more susceptible to point defense than other missile systems. Unleash them when your enemy's energy is low, and their point defense is down. Okay. Oh, tactics and tips. Always be aware of where your allies are in the sector. The Pioneer lacks an escapability, and will suffer when cut off. Advancing too quickly while unsupported could spell doom for an unprepared Pioneer captain. So plan your moves ahead, yeah, me. and respond to adjustments made <laughs> by your team. With an array of weaponry that can deal continuous damage, especially to the USR Ghost and other cloak specialists, the Pioneer is an excellent choice when faced with stealth-capable opposition. It does exhibit some weaknesses against fast-moving, high-damage enemies, however. A Zarek Enforcer or TDS Interceptor would be an example of a counterpick. The Pioneer should avoid encounters with these ships during forward operations. The Pioneer is best thought of as an offensive support ship. Grouping with more aggressive allies will get the best out of the Pioneer. Oh, okay. The ship will rarely be the first target for an opposition team, allowing a skilled captain to contribute to multiple takedowns. The Pioneer can also work as an escort craft for a more robust vessel. Given its detection abilities, enemy stealth ships will struggle to get close to the Pioneer's teammates. Another partnership worth considering is to act as a spotter for a long-range attack craft, such as the Watchman or the Overseer. This can boost a good Watchman player's offensive output to a high degree, while the Pioneer also provides close protection against stealth or rapidly closing attack craft. That's it from myself, Captain. Huh. Good hunting. That's pretty cool. Let's do this, and let's do that again. What is it still here? Uh, move slowly, except for easy target, but can absorb far more damage than other ships and can return lethal firepower if allowed to close. Defense ship. Attack ship. Attack ship. Attack ship. Attack. Mobility. Support. Attack. 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 Mobility. And attack. Okay. Uh, uh, it's cloak. I'm not a cloak guy. I think I'm. I'm thinking about maybe trying this if I get the chance. Two hundred and forty thousand credits. A little crazy, but you know, I think that would be my best play. So, well, let's check this out now. Uh, crew pods. Okay. Oh, so you can purchase with credits. Okay, that's cool. And of course, you know, man, it's really expensive. Uh, I can afford that, apparently. 134. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah. So, really expensive. Even crew pods are really expensive. So, that's too bad. I mean, he got a crew, I guess so I could live with it. Apparently I have some uh, implants too. Oh. 
They already have them in? Yeah, apparently they already have them in. Okay. So, I have extra, I guess. Right, is that right? Yep, okay. Yep, okay, so they all have their stuff in. Okay, well, that's cool. Oh, there's something new in the inventory. Oh! I got a drop pod. Oh, effectively a loot box. Put a free one. Credit, XP, and a utility. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to use any one of these right now, but... Let's see, get to platinum. Hey, interesting to know what's in this. You know. So it looks like maybe like four ships. That would give you five. Maybe the fractions? I don't know here. That's kind of neat, though, you know, that you can get uh, extra credits with those, but. It's too bad you gotta use the uh, premium currency, though, for skins. Man, it's a lot of cash. I wonder how uh, long it would take to get some of that stuff. Here for the premium currency, you get uh, some ships apparently. I don't, for some reason, I don't think that would be all the ships. Oh, okay. So you get uh, a ship and a skin. And a ship and a skin. Ship and a skin. Purple. This is red, so purple. Okay, so this is skins for everything. This is skins for everything. Uh, the new Endeavor and Nautilus skin. Okay. So they must be from somebody else. There's that carrier. Yeah. As a defense ship, really? Man, it was bulking out the damage. Alright, so that's those people. Oh, well, that looks sweet. Giant like some sort of gun on the front. Okay. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, some cool stuff in there, I'll tell you what, man. 
But I'm thinking this is going to be me. I think this will be my style. So, well, let's get in for another game. Quick play. We want to get to level six. That's what we want to do before we end tonight with this game. And then we're going to play, uh, ooh, what is this that I got coming up next? Uh, Crown Takers. So. Conquest mode. Oops. Yeah, I got to pick the right ship, huh? <laughs> My cat wine. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, these all seem like downgrades, so I'm just going to keep what I got. That was an increase. Alright, I gotta go check out what's up with this cat. Yeah, I have no idea what the three of them were doing out there. Oh, meow when I'm making a bunch of noise. Alright. <clears throat> Let's hope we can keep the streak going and win again. That'd be kind of neat. I'm surprised. I'm not usually good at uh, arena-based games like this. Maybe it's because of the spaceships. I wasn't. I wasn't any good at Mech Warrior, so. Jumping now. Yep. That's what I'm doing. I don't see any of them yet. Oh, there's one.
Alright, come on, get me repaired. Alright, where are we jumping? As we're jumping here. I love that response. Excellent. They couldn't have taken that guy down without you. All right, get me repaired up. Wow, I was messed up. Six percent. And I'm back. Let's go. Damn it, they got me. I was trying. You lost the ship. This is war. It happens. Shake it off. You know, I was trying. I was trying really hard. Oh man, what is that? That was some cool stuff. Electrical stuff. Woo. Oh, look at that. 
Doesn't seem like it does a lot of damage though. Do that. Let's get in there. You know what? Oh, I can't do it right now. That sucks. They one of our freighters. More resources for them, less for us. Yeah, jump drive's got to recharge. Okay. Gamma in less than 30 seconds. I just got a whole yeah, lot of that though. Base, my friend. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. We can jump in really far. I don't know what you got to do on the inside though. I'm going to go to beta, which I typically do. I don't know. I guess I like it. Oh, look at that. I'm going to jump sideways.
I took a beating in that though. I didn't mean to launch that here. I can't jump straight from here. That sucks. Well, I'll jump there then. Oh, awesome! <laughs> I need to pay better attention to what you have to do on the inside, but I like taking out those outside guns so that we can jump in closer and closer. So, I'm not doing too bad with this. All right, let's see here. Captured eight, ten, oh, twenty. Woo! Seventy-four, though, so they're eighteen. I didn't make six. I was hoping to make six. Before we changed. Oh well. They're still pretty good. I'm happy with myself. I'm happy with the job I'm doing with this cool little craft. So...